Good morning, Adam. Morning. Uh, just wanted to uh, get your thoughts on returning to the ice after taking a couple of days off, uh, especially after a heavy day on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it was nice. Uh, nice to both get on the ice and uh, have a couple of days off. We've had a pretty hectic schedule lately. Uh, and it's going to be, uh, be a really tough stretch for us. So it's um, those two days off was nice. Uh, the Oilers made a, an acquisition yesterday, and that's bringing in Dmitry Kulikov. Uh, what's your, your thought on that addition to your decor, and what elements can he bring to your lineup? Well, I think he, he will bring a lot. I mean, in going into to a last pusher before the playoffs, uh, you need that. And uh, he's a veteran guy, too, that that been in the playoffs for for a good amount of times and um, he knows what it takes and he's a veteran present and it's, I mean, it's, you can never have uh, too much depth when you're going into to a playoff run. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Adam, does the schedule seem kind of odd? It seems like they jam a bunch of games in, you know, three and four, four and six for you. And then all of a sudden you get four or five days off. You know, it doesn't so they're feast or famine. You're getting some bunch of days off, and then they just jam in as many games as they can possibly get for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think all the all the guys agree on that. We we would like to to play pretty much uh, every other day. I mean, I I personally like it. I like when it's the jam schedule. Um, uh, obviously, it's uh, it's a different year with. Some weeks you're playing a lot of games, and some week you could sitting just waiting. So it's uh, it's a different year, um, but you just have to be ready wherever it comes at you. I mean, our our week in Montreal wasn't something we expected, but we knew it can happen. Uh, so it's uh, you just have to be be ready at all times. Uh, what in terms of Kulikov, you might end up playing with him if if they move Chris, or, you know Russell to play with somebody else. Um, how will that change for you? I mean, you've played with a number of left side uh, defensemen, so you're getting pretty used to playing with somebody different. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been been having a lot of partners this year, um, and I, I think personally, it's been working pretty good with with most of them. So it's uh, whoever he he comes in and play with, I'm I'm sure we will all support him and help him the best we can. Uh, to get right into to our group and to our system. So, uh, yeah, I, I haven't really talked personally to, to anyone how it's going to look moving forward, but now I'll play for, with Rusty for a couple of games, and I really I really like that uh, that pairing. So it's just have to keep keep grinding away. Daniel Nugent Bowman, The Athletic. Hi, Adam. Uh, not to suggest by any means that, you know, you could have or would have gotten traded yesterday, but I'm just wondering, you know, now that the roster is set here, how does that kind of help you guys come together as a team over the last 14 games? Yeah, I mean, it, we didn't, the organization didn't do a whole lot of pickups this uh, this trade deadline, so uh, it, it just shows that, that they they believe in us, and that's uh, that's a good sign. I mean, we're we're still 14 games away from playoffs, so a lot can happen. We we have to have to be on our toes, and uh, I mean, going into playoffs, everything can happen. So uh, we have a big uh, belief in this group, uh, in this locker room. So uh, we're we're feeling good. Terry Jones, Post Media. Yeah, uh, you guys didn't play or practice yesterday, and there are people uh, in the league. Um, advocating that uh, trade deadline day should maybe be a day off for everybody, uh, players and everybody. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, I don't know. I mean, we had a day off yesterday and it was nice to rest the body. That was, if the whole league should have a day off on the deadline, I don't know. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It's, uh, I honestly don't know. And uh, the trade deadline signals the uh, start of the home stretch, and uh, and that this is your team. So how do you feel about the home stretch, and how do you feel about your team? I mean, it, 
good. I mean, it's we haven't played our best game lately. Uh, so we have kind of 14 games on getting our game back back in order. But um, I mean, it's just a it's going to be a good, nice push with a lot of games. Um, but I mean, we're we're in a good spot with uh, both in the standing, mentally, physically. Boys look fresh today, so it's uh, it's promising. Jack Michael, six thirty, Chad. Adam, I know you can't do the things you're accustomed to doing, but is it still better to be at home than on the road in a hotel room? A hundred percent. I mean, it's to sit in a room for a certain amount of days. Uh, and not being able to do a whole lot, it's uh, it's it's pretty tough. But I mean, I think the boys have handled it really good this year. Uh, we're having fun on the road. Uh, we're playing good hockey on the road, and that kind of makes makes life a lot easier. And secondly, I just I, I don't know whether you saw his comments the other night, but Connor McDet. McDavid suggested maybe the league could have done something else rather than schedule a game on the previously set aside Colby cave day. Yeah. Did you appreciate your captain sticking up for the club like that? Oh, hundred percent. I mean, it's a draining afternoon for, for all of us sitting there watching something that's that sad. I mean, everybody deals with it a different way. There's not really a right or wrong way to, to deal with that kind of stuff. So it's, it was just mentally draining. Uh, if the league should know better, yeah. Uh, I mean, I support Connor's comment there. It's, I mean, it was just a tough day overall for, for everybody involved. Uh, I mean, it's going through, going through something like that is, it's tough.